is the last stretch right here. I got like eight miles till I'm home. I have done a little bit over 1,550 miles by the time I get to the house. And, uh, you know, I was curious if this bike would be a touring bike. If they don't sell it as a touring bike, it's a soft tail. It's the, it's the best of the soft tail class, but it's not a touring bike. The touring bike is, you know, the road king or above. And, uh, and so I was curious what it would be like to do a, a long trip on this bike. And, um, you know, I got to tell you, this is probably like maybe a 500 mile a day bike. It's a lighter bike, so it's, you know, I, I, I did 80, I shotgunned it on up to Medford and then to Portland, so I, you know, I got on the, on the highway and I was doing 80 and 85, but you know, today on the way back, it's really windy and this bike just isn't super planted in the wind. It's, it's a little bit lighter of a bike, but uh, I tell you, I can do 450 to 500 miles a day on this bike. You know, I, I stopping to get fuel every couple of hundred miles and use that time to stretch and then grab a meal in there and uh, uh, you know about 300 miles 350 miles in the saddle without taking a stretch was about as well I, I, I shot up to Medford and that was about as long as I'd like to do I, I, I shot from Medford up to, to Mount St. Helens and uh, that was about the same distance. So, you know, we're talking about 340 miles in a shot without without taking a break, you know? And that's about pushing it, you know? A lot of it has to do with, like, the seat, you know? I, I did put a Mustang seat on here I, with the uh, OEM seat that I had, the stock seat. I, I tell you, I, I rode to Bakersfield and it about killed me. I did it. I got down to Bakersfield, so that's about 190 miles, and that was um, that's about as far as I could do. I, I wouldn't have been able to go to Bakersfield and back in one day. I, I needed a break, and with this seat and this bike, with this seat on this bike, I could I could do Bakersfield and back. I could do Los Angeles, and, and if I had to, I could probably make it back. You know. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, this bike is very comfortable. I, I have a feeling that whenever I go back to Sturgis, this bike's gonna handle like a champ. That Sturgis is like 1,300 miles from my house. I'm not even going straight to Sturgis. I'm, I'm gonna shoot up and go through Idaho and then end up in Montana and go see Glacier National Park. And then stop by Yellowstone on the way back. and. Uh, then the, the, one of the things I want to do is go over Tioga Pass, Highway 120, from Lee Vining into uh, Yosemite. So I'm going to do all three of those things along with the Sturgis trip on this bike. So, you know, I'm talking nine, I'm going to be gone for nine days, but we're talking a good solid uh, seven days of riding probably. When I get to when I get to Sturgis, I'll probably take a break off the seat, you know, and give myself a little bit of a rest. But you know, you never know. I am I'm very much a uh, a motorcycle enthusiast. I I don't mind being in the seat. I'm you know I'm used to long miles on the road anyway. So, but for me, my impression of this bike is that uh, definitely it's a. Um, it's a touring bike for me and you know for what it's worth I'm six foot two and 240 pounds so you know take that for what it is but uh you know as far as doing the trip I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to sound goofy or whatever but man I'm, I'm really excited you know those who have done it you know there's a lot of miles to do by yourself on a bike you know and uh, playing, playing it by ear, winging it. I left here with no reservations on Memorial Day weekend, with no plans of where I was going to stop or stay. Just wherever I got to in the nighttime, as, as close to as, as I could get, I, I would get a spot. And uh, last night, you know, my girlfriend stepped in and she, she was able to, to find me a location as I was riding down and uh, save me having to go from spot to spot to get it, you know, and uh, 
you know, I, I think that's kind of the way to do it. If you, you know, you can have a support system behind you as you go, just kind of wing it, you know. Um, maybe that way there's no uh, pressure to make it. I have to make it here, or I have to make it all the way to there, or if I don't make it to where my reservation is, or, or if you get to where your reservation's at, but you can still keep going further, it's just like, you know, I don't like to put those type of limitations on my day or, or, or expectations either. So for me, it just works out better to kind of have a general idea of which way and where I want to go, but uh, to leave all the fine tuning for along the road because that's where it's, you know, <laughs> that's what's going to matter when it comes to how your day is going. So, but uh, other than that, man, I'm really glad to have done that the trip. I had a really good time. My very first moto camping experience, you know, I was able to do two, two times camping and uh, one, one time in the hotel when I knew I was going to do the hotel, you know, uh, <laughs> I wanted to wait to buy some of my gear until I was in Oregon because, you know, Oregon's tax free and I definitely enjoy tax free and uh, so I bought my, my air mat and I will review that air mattress. That air mattress is phenomenal. I, I cannot believe. I'm so used to air mattresses that run out of air or, or um, deflate in the night or aren't insulated or, you know, they just don't live up to the height. And uh, I tell you, this sleeping system that I got right now is, is remarkable. I slept comfortable. I um, It was off the ground. It kept its air. I mean, I had to force air out of it in the morning to roll it back up. It, it packs up nice. It's just, you know, the... Um, Definitely uh, very, um, very grateful for the experience. And uh, I can't wait to do it some more. Anyways, I'm sure that this, um, this video is gonna be a long one on the trip. That or I, I might break it up into three for each day or whatever, one for each day. But uh, definitely, um, I know a lot of people get nervous about doing motorcycle trips by themselves and it would be nice to do it with somebody you know but uh i don't want to let not having somebody that wants to do this kind of stuff or, or that's capable of doing this type of stuff keep me from doing it i'm not gonna i don't want to be hindered by by that you know i'm just i want to do it i'm gonna do it and uh I did it and uh, i can't wait to do it again so anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed my adventure as much as I have. Even if it's just half as much, that would be fantastic. Anyways, 